Hi everyone, welcome back to the Village Academy and welcome back to introduction to programming using Java. Now, doing something a little bit different from what we were doing so far, we are going to learn how we can organize our project a little bit better. So right now, as you can see, we are writing all the classes under the source package. So from the Java point of view, writing the classes directly into the source package is a very bad idea. So it's not part of the convention. So to solve this problem, especially because when we are working in projects, we will have hundreds uh, or some projects, even thousands of files. The programming languages, they usually offer you some kind of support to organize it a little bit better. In Java, it's called packages. How do we create a package? What is a package? A package in Java is just uh, a way to organize the, the, the files that we have. But in the end, in the operating system, it's just a folder. So let's learn how we can create a package. First, we always start the package with the source package. And in this case, I'm calling source package, but it can be the source root or source folder. Because if you open here, open in Explorer, you will see that this is just a, a regular folder. So let me increase here. So this is just a regular folder. So what are we going to do here? We are going to create a new package. Wait, do we have a convention for package naming? Yes, we do. Usually when you are doing a project, the project is going to be for a company or even maybe a website. And usually you put the name of the company, the domain, the website in the inverse order. So if it was google.com, it will be com.google. In our case, the website is devdojo.academy, so there should be academy.devdojo. And then you can have the name of the project, like introduction programming, but in this case, we don't need. So this is like the root level of all packages would be academy.devdojo. So I'm creating a folder academy, and inside this folder academy, I'm creating the folder devdojo. So I'll press enter, and I'm going to show you. So here you can see as a package, but if I come here to open in Explorer, you see devdojo. So it looks like it's not one thing to work. So we have here devdojo and here we have um, academy. So from the source, we have academy and then we have devdojo. And as you can see, here is empty. Why? Because here is empty as well. Okay, so now what can we do? We usually just create packages based on there are two things, kind of layers or functionalities. In this case, both of them, they technically do not apply to what we are doing because it's just instructional, but we have here technically the content type. So basically the, the class, we have like conditionals, we have exercises, we have then variables. So why not just do something like this? Let's create a new package. And then in this package here, uh, let's write, for example, variables. Variables. So there are some rules for creating the package name. So you cannot use, for example, uh, reserved words, or public class, or any of the, the primitive types. And here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to select here. So from hello world to variable one, two, and three, I'm going to pop here variables and now if you look here it's inside and can you see that we have now this arrow here meaning that this is nested if we open again open in explorer you are going to see that we have here academy dev dojo and we do have the variables so variables here they are inside okay so now how can we create something under DevDojo again? So if you take a look here, you can create a new package. And if you remove DevDojo, and you, we have here, for example, um, conditionals, you will see that now we have under academy.devdojo two packages. So I'm going to drag and drop all of them here. Now exercises, let's create a new package here. Exercises, and then I'm going to Open and paste each one of these exercises and then refactor. Uh, yeah, you can 
just press do refactor and then we have here input data basically technically they are their own thing comments as well and we have this exercise salary so this exercise is also here so drag and drop into exercises and then refactor and then it's going to ask if you want to rename strings as well so you just press here can you see since we are using the name of the class in the comments that do refactor ask if you wanted to rename everything that was string as well in this case it's adding here the name of the package so we have the name of the package here and now we only have input data and we have comments so now we can create another package here uh it's a venues i'm not sure if this is how we write this down so what we can do we ask uncle google how we write things miscellaneous i'm not sure if i wrote it correctly so how can we rename shift f6 and actually i was right nice and then comment and input data we move it right there there you go as you can see everything now it's completely more organized than it was before do you want to review classes about conditionals just open here do you want to review classes about variables just come here now the exercises they could be even like part of the packages for example the conditionals part of the conditionals and for example variables should be part of variables but let's keep the exercises in a different folder and with this if you open again the explorer you are going to see here that we have dev dojo and then we have the packages exactly like we have here we have folders so that's how we can organize our code what you have to remember for this class is that packages are way uh, that java and other languages they are giving you to be able to organize all your code in a way that probably you as developer and as your part of your team will understand what's happening and find themselves easily and in the operating system they are not more than just regular folders okay so i hope you enjoyed this is everything that i want to tell you let's continue in the next video bye bye